We are committed to 100% clean electricity by 2035, net zero by 2050, and cutting our carbon emissions in half by 2030, which is significant for our own commitments. But we also brought the methane pledge uh, to the table, which is a significant reduction in the most potent of the greenhouse gases that is responsible for half of the global warming we're seeing. There are issues, whether it's uh, on Article 6 or whether it's on coal, where there are some criticisms still. Is it just the case of that the battles that the administration thinks it can win domestically, uh, it's brought to the table here, and there are just things that you can't get through the political system at home, and that's why you haven't gone further? Um, let's just say that it is clear that the Biden administration believes we have to move away from fossil fuels and coal. And in fact, we took a very strong position at the G20, very disappointed with the wording out of the G20, which wasn't as strong as what was at the G7. Not yeah. to get into too much detail, it was a very um, strong position. But the Biden administration at this moment really believes that the emphasis on building out clean is a very critical component of what he's asking the Congress to pass. And that means deploy, deploy, deploy the technologies we already have while we're in this transition. And I will say those technologies include decarbonization of fossil fuels. Secretary, I'll come to the differences between the administration and the Democratic Party in a few moments' time. But you mentioned the difference between the G7 and G20. That major difference was the fact that some such as India, such as China, just don't want to or feel they can't move as quickly as you want them to move uh, on certain types of fossil fuels. Is it right to criticize China uh, and, and Russia, for instance, uh, for not bringing their leadership here, as indeed the president did when he left Glasgow at the, end, at the start of the week? Is it right to criticize? Yeah. Why? I because mean, they've got big the delegations whole... here. Yeah, they do have delegations here, which is great. And that's a sign and that's a step. And in fact, um, you know, India upped their game in terms of their commitment for renewables up to 500 gigawatts, which is massive and fantastic. And so we do believe that this area of energy and of clean energy can be an area that all major countries agree upon. It is disappointing, though, that the biggest emitters are not committing to reduce their greenhouse gas pollution.